Welcome back to the podcast, folks. No preamble here. AMP is listing on Coinbase Pro. You wanted it, you got it. And before we really get into this, see, this is not a drill. Now, the question is, what are you going to do with it? What's going to happen? Everyone is talking about the Coinbase effect, Coinbase effect, 91% jump to the moon, etc. What do I think is about to happen? Stand by and I'll tell you. Coinbase, huzzah! We have arrived and all of that. What's going to happen? Where will it go? How high? What shall we do? Clearly, I have some thoughts. In the interest of full disclosure, I made my first AMP purchase in December. And you know what? Going to leave it right there. I have been buying steadily up to two cents and dollar cost averaging ever since. This is so far the only crypto that I really have not scalped much. Uh, I did when it railed up to, what did it get up to? Like .078, but that was speculator's money. And I have no problem taking speculator's money. I want to drill down a little bit here. And I'm thinking that by the end of this short video, short video, you will be able to make your own determination on where it will go because... I have never given a price prediction, and I never will. So let's ask the question that I always ask every time before I make a purchase of any cryptocurrency. How will this crypto make me a profit? Not how can I profit in crypto, but how will this crypto make me a profit? AMP is the collateral token of the Flexing Network. Now, in the interest of brevity here, if you are any kind of AMP person, you know what it is and what it does, so I will not get into that. Needless to say, AMP makes the Flexing Network possible. It is what makes it function. It is what enables transactions to be processed using cryptocurrency. There. Brevity. So let me ask the question again. How will this crypto make me a profit? AMP's major booming to the moon, to Mars value comes from usage. We know this. It's in the white paper. AMP's value comes from usage. So will a Coinbase listing increase AMP's usage? Will listing AMP on Coinbase make me a profit? Short term? Probably. Probably. You know what? Almost yes. Uh, that's a price prediction. I'm sorry. I'm not going to edit it out. Just pretend I didn't say it. This is not price pr prediction. It's not. We just know that there is enough liquidity in this token to maintain at least seven and a half cents. We saw that before. So will AMP's usage increase by listing on Coinbase? That is the question. It's a hell of a question. It's the only question. Here's the big one that nobody has asked yet, but I'm gonna ask it now. Can AMP maintain its price after the Coinbase effect if the usage does not increase? Meaning, if there is the Coinbase bump, will AMP maintain it? You have to assume speculators will be all over this one. Are they patient folks? Will they buy and hold? Or are we going to see extremely wild swings as they pump it and dump it? What will this do for the resiliency of the token? When the staked value doubles overnight and crashes the next night and again and again, what are folks going to think of our lovely amp? What are they going to think? Now, I'm just thinking out loud here, guys. This... I'm not the I'm not the gospel. I just think it out loud. One of the things that I've always just absolutely loved about AMP was the slow, steady, inevitable growth of the token. It it's the one I could always count on. 
when when my other holdings were mooning and, and crashing with no apparent reason, AMP was there. When the market plunged, AMP was there. When there just was an abundance of carnival coins coming out every other day and just crushing social media with their moonshot any day proclamations while having no case use whatsoever, AMP was there. AMP was always there. Slowly, steadily, growing, reliable, steady. AMP was always there. So the only question that I have on this is, what will it be on Friday? More valuable? Eh, probably, probably. Uh, more volatile? Yeah, <laughs> most certainly. Whatever is in store for it. And I have my opinions and predictions, but I don't do that on this channel. Whatever it will be on Friday will probably not be what it is now. And I don't mean value of the token. I don't mean that. I mean the steady hand of the case usage, customer-facing case usage crypto world. Buy the news and sell the rumor. That's it. That's trading. Buy the news and sell the rumor. Watch it today, watch it tomorrow, and you will be fairly sure what it will be on Friday. So you see, I am betting you reached your own conclusion and you didn't need me muddying it up with price predictions. I like to think I have a much higher level of subscriber uh, on my channel. The people who will look at this philosophically and not emotionally, who will look at it rationally. So for everybody else, you wanted Coinbase, you got Coinbase. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you on the other side of the listing. Cheers.